It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Not everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just start. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. Oh. Words from the wise, I just are, we will never die. Stand tall, we will never die, we'll forever shine. I just are, shine like the star in the sky, some hate, some love. If you're going to have black and black violence, I suggest to you that you must also have white and white violence. Why the double standard? Why the racial? introduction in the context it's deliberate all right um my question to the i know because the police play a a, a, a big role into this can hey yo i just done hey, oh and them no set okay are you the king of representing <laughs> what you know no i just done. i say without fear or favor that it is not about our African community trusting the police. First and foremost, we must trust ourselves. True. And we must realize that the solution for our problems with our youths lies with us. It does not lie with the police of more police and more so-called social workers, etc. It is our responsibility as African parents and grandparents to deal with our youths who are misguided, who have been led astray, because they are our children, no matter what. And it is for us to deal with them and to discipline them and to bring them to the, to the fold. You notice I'm not making excuses and saying that you don't have some of our youths yes, who do wrong. Do. But it is for us yes. always to recognize that they are our children. Because you and I, we are fathers and grandfathers. So is our esteemed camera brother. Our children are not just our biological children. Our children are also the children of our brethren and sisters and others. True. So it is a Marcus Garvey principle that self-reliance, that we are responsible for dealing with our community. Now, we live in a country, we know the ratio of the population, there is necessarily interaction between the social services and the police um, force, etc. But it's for us to organize and when we deal with these outside organizations outside of our community that we have our own manifesto our own agenda our own plan of action so that we are not the victims of what they would want to put on us but that we set the agenda and we maintain our agenda and that we are not used against each other for the benefit of people who are not Africans, whether they are in uniform or not. Rastafari. All right. All right. Um, interesting. We want to turn the attention to reggae music. See? Because um, we see over the, over the weekend pass, we're now in um, July, if you're watching this late. Yes. We see over the weekend, we see here in England, we see um, the country show, um, which, which is a two day festival. Mm. Saturday and Sunday, Lambeth Country, in yeah. Brockwell Park. Mm. And we, we also see some fest in, in Jamaica. Jamaica. Yes. See in in, 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 in uh, Montego Bay. Mm, reggae some fest. Mm. Right? And that is another couple days three three day event or something like that. Some, something like that and I, th I think if my memory serves the right that some face is now 20 years old took over from reggae sun, sun splash when yes. people in the Montego Bay St. James area with the withdrawal of reggae sun splash 
came with Reggae Sumfest because they depended on the, their hotels and other business places benefiting. And of course, 1998, 20 years ago, since Jamaica got into the World Cup. And let me just say this, Jamaica has not been in the World Cup since because, not because we don't have talented and brilliant Jamaican footballers, but there's a serious problem of discipline with our football players. Rastafari. We never want to take the, 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 the reasoning there. But uh, another time we will deal yeah, with that. Another time we'll deal with that 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 issue there still. Um here in England, see the country show we don't see much um reggae artists of such coming from Jamaica performing and and, and this um country show and you know over the years it have publicized or advertised more as a reggae type of show you know most of the people them that you see they come because of the reggae because on the, Sunday yes what do I um, view upon um, you know the lack of reggae artists we see um, people like Bugle last year we only see um, Johnny Clark this year. Mm -hmm. I think Steel, Steel Pulse. David was, Hines from yeah, Steel Pulse. Was there. From Birmingham. Yeah. But he's also a British British. Yeah, born in Britain, yes. yes. David Hines, yes. What do I view? Is, is my, my view is this. Again, as Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey says, you know, um, study of history is most rewarding and a people without a knowledge of their past culture and roots is like a tree without roots true so talk about rockwell park where we are right now right now in brixton in lambert historically some of the first reggae events some of if not the first in terms of sound systems was when my brethren and i'm proud to say my brethren lloyd coxon of sir coxon sound system man originally from cottage pen st thomas paul Moore parish eastern jamaica yes sir and jim daddy from my parents parish of manchester in jamaica i went to his funeral as did lloyd some years ago played in Brockwell Park many years ago. And I was reasoning with my brethren, Lloyd Cox, who said, Man, Dingo, you know what I remember about it? When Jim Daddy and I played in Brockwell Park, when we applied for permission, because you just don't come in the park and set up, you have to let the council know, Lambert Council. They said, Oh, go ahead, no problem. He said, The police and Lambert Council, they were shocked. At the many, the vast crowd that the reggae sound system, Jim Daddy and Lady Coxon drew. They were taken totally the off guard. He said the next year, <laughs> the council and police changed that. They started to demand all kind of clauses. You know them, those kind of clauses that really telling you. No more of this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and asking for some thousands of pounds, he said, if my memory serves the right as some kind of bond or insurance. In other words, using money to price you out of yes. thing. To to run your way. Yeah. <laughs> because before this Lambert country fair was just a small little thing. You know. It's the reggae that drew the crowd, just like how it's reggae that made the Notting Hill Gate Carnival big. It's the sound systems that made Notting Hill Gate Carnival big. All right. and, 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 and what happened, what I noticed with this one, the crowd was down. Every year, for some years, the crowd was bigger and bigger, especially on the Sunday, which is when you have the reggae acts. And what happened? was this this year for the first time 
the crowd was down for several reasons. One, when people found out that the entire area where it was going to be kept was going to be walled off, a kind of Berlin wall. But since it's not Berlin, Brockwell Park Wall. Brockwell Park Wall. Wall. Brockwell Park Wall. It was walled off. So you could not enter, you could not leave, unless you were going through the exits for this wall. That's the first thing. Two, some people were put off that for the first time, there was going to be body searches of individuals. Not just body searches, three, there was going to be the searches of any bags that you had on you. Four, people use, who drink alcohol would buy from the off license or wherever and bring a drink. No alcohol was allowed. That's four. Five, because I'm a journalist, as you also know, in addition to being a record producer, Mandingo label, Sugar Minot, every little thing you run to Babylon, General Echo, Sex Educational Class, General Echo again, African National Heroes. When, when, when you, when you, when you um, went to the bar, I, 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 in my capacity as a journalist, I walked all about. I came both days because I didn't want anyone to tell me what happened. I wanted to see first hand. First hand, yes. Water and soft drinks were being sold for an average of two pounds and two pounds fifty. Beer was being sold for four pounds fifty. Those are the prices. When it came on to the music thing, I noticed that for the first time you had more acts from Lambert, people who live in Lambert, yes. performing. Before, you were having people who were not from Lambert doing most of the performances. But it was because I and others criticized that how can you be having a Lambert country fair, a reggae section, and you're not involving people from Lambert on the bill in substantial numbers. So that 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 chain where that's concerned. Johnny Clark was the best artist. He has the hits and he's a stage performer. He didn't close the show and I think that he should have closed the show. The people who closed the show came after him. Brins the Ford from Aswad. David Hines from Steel Pulse coming from Birmingham. Their album, Answer Revolution, was produced by my schoolmate at Kingston Technical, the engineer, Carl Peterson, my schoolmate at Kingston Technical High School. Okay. He and I and Scotty, who did draw your breaks, who you know, we went to Kingston Technical at the same time. They were one year ahead of me. Muta Baruka, Philip Linton, that's Arrow Sound from West Avenue of Windward Road, Franklin Town. Donald Darling of Black Star Sound, they were one year below me at Kingston Technical. Errol Brown, the nephew of Duke Reed, he was one year ahead of me with Orville Baga case, just like Carl Peterson at Kingston Technical. I'm just giving that to show the context of how things are. So it's a Kingston Technical man, my friend Carl Peterson, that launched the career as a producer and engineer for Steel Pulse and World Revolution. Johnny Clark should have closed the show. Dennis Bovell, who I know from a long time, from Battersea area and so on, he was performing, musician. I knew him when Lloyd Coxon got the band that he was in, Matumbi, to back my brethren, Iroy, when Iroy came here first in 1973, because Lloyd Coxon brought Iroy here on his first tour. Matumi was a backing band. That's how they knew me and I run. Right? right? And what has happened is that 
Dennis was not a singer in Matumbi. He was the guitarist. Blake, Ethan Blake from St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, was the bass player. Newton Jones from Jonestown, St. Andrew, Jamaica, was the drummer, the original drummer. Later on, it was my brethren, Bunny from Alman Town, who became the drummer. But I'm talking initially. Yes. And of course, Bevin Fagan was the, 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 the most um, regular voice man singer. With, with, with the group, you know, Mat Mat Matumbi. So I'm saying this to say that Dennis Bovell, who performed as a singer, I mean, he was the one who, as I said, who sang uh, Man In Me and After Tonight. It's others, Fagan and an ex-bridge, you know, sang that. But Dennis keeps on working and works well and gives his all. Um, David Nines performed, brings the fourth from Aswad perform because he and the other two members, Jummy and Tony Robinson, they don't work together again. And they were okay. But, you know, I demand you go I tell it like it is. They were okay, but they never had that fire like what Johnny Clark had and would have brought in clothes in the show. Because Johnny worked for almost an hour, you know. Never wanted to come off the stage. Because, you know, he has the hits and he's a performer. And that would have been the right person Set to headline the show. And uh, I agree with you that it's, you, you, you're having this lack of Jamaican reggae artists in the Lambert country fair situation. And why I'm saying that? The borough that has the most amount of Africans is not Lambert, as some people mistakenly believe. It's actually Brent, where we have Halls and Wilson and so on. That's the borough that has the largest percentage of Africans from Africa and the Caribbean, as African people together. Lambert comes second. But what is noticeable about Lambeth is that Lambeth, especially the Brixton area in Lambeth, has a strong or had a strong Jamaican presence. Yeah. Because we know they have been doing everything to get rid of us out of, <laughs> out of Brixton. Hey, yo, I just done. Hey, yo, I just done. Oh, Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset.